We live in a world of day and night, of light and darkness. Our behaviours are shaped by this unchangeable fact. During the day, we are active, interacting with the world and the people in it. At night, we sleep, allowing our bodies and minds to rest. However, it is not just our behaviour that is altered by this day-night, 24-hour cycle. The cells of our body are too. Each of us has a central circadian clock located in our brains. This central clock keeps our bodies in tune with our external environment. Interestingly, other cells, including immune cells, have a circadian clock and display circ circadian rhythm, meaning that their levels rise and fall over a 24-hour time period. This raises some interesting questions as to why we have circadian rhythms. Does this mean that our immune system is better able to fight a pathogen depending on the time of infection? The signal of light is detected by our eyes and transmitted to the central circadian clock located in our brains. My research is focused on Rho alpha, an important protein in the clock. A protein cascade is initiated when the light signal is detected. The end result of this cascade is activation of different genes that are involved in controlling different physiological processes. Macrophages are the eaters of the immune system, eating up any pathogens they come across. When the macrophage senses an infection, it activates other immune cells, including T cells, and together these cells clear infection through an inflammatory response. There are different types of macrophages, non-inflammatory and inflammatory. What is of interest to me is that inflammatory macrophages appear to display a circadian rhythm, meaning that their numbers rise and fall in our bodies over 24 hours. This raises an interesting question. If we are infected when these inflammatory macrophage numbers are at their highest, does this mean that we get a more inflammatory response? The question I am asking in my research is if Rho alpha is removed from the macrophage, what effect does this have on the circadian clock? Does it alter the circadian rhythm of the macrophage? And also, does this affect our responses to infection? This research contributes to our knowledge of circadian rhythms and macrophages. Further down the line, my research could potentially be used to change clinical practice. The question we may ask is do patients respond better to immune therapies when administered the treatment at a certain time of the day?